Hello folks. So in this video I'm going to continue working on Flappy Bird in Pygame. Uh, so from last time if you remember I'd gone as far as creating a background and then this scrolling ground as well down here. What I'm going to focus on in this video is creating the bird itself. And there are different ways that you could do this. You could just use Python classes or even maybe a function. But I like to use Pygame's sprite classes. So to do that I'll just start off as normal. I'll say class, whoops, class bird. And in the brackets here, I will type pygame.sprite.sprite. .sprite. So this indicates that I'm going to be using Pygame's sprite class. So as always, start off with an init function. And in here, I just put in an X, well, a self, and then an X and a Y coordinate where the bird is going to be drawn. Now after this, because I am using these sprite classes, I need to add in this additional function. So this says pygame.sprite.sprite. .sprite. And then I just add in the init function from that class. This will allow me to inherit some of the functionality. So sprite classes have update and draw functions already built into them. So it just saves me having to type them out myself. I don't need to add in blit functions or anything like that because they're already coded into this class. So that's one of the benefits of using this. Now the next thing is I need to start creating my images. So for this flappy bird, I've got some of these sprites here. And I, the bird itself comes with three individual sprites, and that's because it kind of animates the flapping motion as it goes. So the body is the same, but you can see the wing changes. So I want to be able to animate that as I go. So I'll start off without the animation, just to show how it looks. And I suppose just to explain this uh, sprite class as well. So when using sprite classes, there are a couple of things that you need to always define. So the first one is self image. And this is the image or the picture that the sprite is going to be assigned. So now I can load that in just in the exact same way as I loaded in the images before. So I copy this function down here, pygame image load, and then this one was, uh, well I believe it was just called bird, and then they're numbered. So I'll just call bird1 for now. With that created, I now need to create a rectangle from it. So self.rect equals self.image, and then you just use get underscore rect, which will create a rectangle from the boundaries of that image for you. Now we need to assign where this rectangle is going to be positioned. So because I'm feeding in an X and a Y coordinate within the function, I can set that as my center point. So self.rect.center equals the X and the Y coordinate. So without going too far, that I think should be enough to actually create the basics of this bird class. So with sprite classes also come groups. So I'll create a bird group. Now, although I'm only actually having one of these birds uh, initialized at one time, the group additionally comes with these same functions. So I'll say bird group equals pygame.sprite.group. And I will explain and I'll de demonstrate some of these extra functions in a second. So now that I've created this bird group, I need to create an instance of the bird class. So that's going to be the actual bird that I show on the screen. So I'll call this one flappy and I'll say it equal to the bird class. And all I need to put in here is the X and the Y coordinate. So I wanted to kind of start off offset from the screen a little bit. So 100 pixels into the right and then roughly in the middle of the screen. So let's just say screen height divided by two. Let's add that in here. And I've added an integer function at the beginning just so that uh, Pygame doesn't complain about this giving back uh, potentially a float value. So now that I've created this one, I need to add this into my bird group. So the bird group essentially just keeps track of all of the sprites that I add to it. So it's almost like a Python list in a way. And if I, the, the function for adding uh, the instance into a group is very similar as well. So I'll say bird group. Normally, if this was a list, you would say dot append. Because it's a group, you just say dot add. But it's kind of the same thing. So now I have one item, which is my instance of the bird class and it's added into this bird group. And now this is where that functionality from the sprites uh, comes in. So where I come down here, I've got my ground and, or I've got my background and then the scrolling ground beneath it. So I'm just going to add in here the bird. So bird group is what I want to draw. So I will just say bird underscore group dot draw screen. So notice I haven't defined a draw function anywhere. This is just one of the built-in functions within sprites. So now, let me just check. If I run this code now, uh, there, it works fine. So I've got the, the, the little bird 
uh, generate and it's shown at 100 pixels on the x-coordinate and then it's about halfway down the screen. So that's working fine. It's not doing anything in the moment because I haven't added any functionality. But you notice it's just on a still image. I want that to be animated throughout. So that's quite straightforward. If I come back into here, I can show you I've got bird 1, bird 2 and bird 3 in all the different stages of that animation. And essentially in Pygame to do an animation, all you would do is create a list of these still images and then just quickly flick through them within the code. So all you're doing is it's kind of like a flipbook. You're just showing them really quickly one after another. So it kind of looks like an animation. In reality, it's just um, these still images being shown one after another. So to do that, I'll come back up here and I'll just change this code a little bit within this class. So like I said, I need to create this as a list. So I'll say self.images, and this is going to be my empty list of images. I need to define an index. So the index is going to be essentially what refers back into this self images list and tells me which of those pictures I need to be showing at this particular time. So I'll start off with zero. Uh, index zero is always the first point of the list. So it's going to just show me the first image. And then I'll also add a little counter. So self.counter, I will set to zero. Uh, oops, self.counter, and this is just going to be controlling the speed at which the animation runs. So now that I've created this empty list, I need to actually populate it. So I need to iterate using a for loop. For num in range, and this is just going to be my range of images. So because I've got three images, I'll say between one and four, because of course the range doesn't take in the four, it goes up to it. So it'll be one, two, and three. And now I can load in the individual images rather than using this uh, self.image function or variable, I'll just load in the images one by one in this iteration. So I will actually bring this line up here instead, because this is where I'm going to be loading the images. And now instead of loading bird one, I want to be changing this, uh, this digit here to whatever num is. So to do that, I just put in some curly brackets and I put num in here. And then I put an F at the beginning. So this is Python's way of formatting strings. It just means that whatever is within these curly brackets, this variable here is going to be added into the string. So it's going to say bird one, then it iterates again, says bird two and bird three. And then that way it loads in every one of the images. So now that that's done, I need to assign that image into that list. So my images list, self.images.append, and the image I want to append is that image I have just loaded. So when that iteration is complete, I will have a list that's going to contain all three of those images. But for the time being, I just want the first one. So I say self image, which is the image that this sprite is actually going to be outputting, is going to be taken from the images list. And the one I'm going to be taking is the one at the self.index value, which for the time being is set at zero. So it's going to start off and just take the first image. The rest it stays the same. I've got my rectangle and I've got the center of that rectangle positioned. So if I run this code now, uh, there's absolutely no difference. It's still showing the first one, and that's because I'm not iterating through this. I'm not increasing the counter yet. So that's what I'm going to add in next. And this is where I'm going to override the define, or sorry, the update function that already comes within sprites, because normally it doesn't really have anything in it. So I'm going to add in some functionality in. And that functionality is going to be this animation. So before I actually start the code, I just want to add in uh, a little comment up here. I'll just say handle the animation. And what I'll be doing, if you remember, I had this counter and this essentially this limits or controls the rate at which the animation cycles through. So first of all, what I want to do is increase that counter by one. So I'll say self counter plus equals one. So I'll increase it by one every iteration. And I then want to add in an additional variable, which is going to be called flap cooldown. And I'll set this to five. So what I will do with these two variables is I will just be checking if self counter has created a flap cooldown. So essentially, once I've iterated five times using that same still, now I'm ready to move on to the next one. So that's how quickly my animation is going to move. Away. So before I do anything, I need to make sure I reset that counter. Otherwise, it's just going to keep increasing. So now that I have proceeded to the next level of the animation, let's reset that back to zero and then update my animation. So remember, the animation was controlled using this index variable because this index is what references the particular image from the list. So I can say in here, self index just increases by one. And after that's done, I need to make sure that I update that image. So where I initially created this instance, I just set it to whatever it was at the time. 
well, I've just updated my index, so I need to update the image. Now, if I was to run this code now, I will very quickly get an error. And I'll run it just to show. Uh, oh, I have missed something quite important. So I haven't actually called this update function anywhere. I've shown draw, but not update. So let's say bird underscore group dot update. And run that again. Okay, yeah, it, it happened way too quickly. I wonder if I just set this to a higher value, we'll see what happens. Yeah, so it's, it very quickly cycles through them, but then it comes to the end of this list, and then I get this error because it's trying to go into an index that doesn't exist. So that means that I need to be resetting uh, my index uh, at a certain value. So what I need to do is make sure that I have a check here that this doesn't go above the length of my image. So I, I can't exceed the number of images that I actually have in that list. So that's quite an easy check. I just say if self.index, so remember, it's increasing by one every time. So it's going to go 0, 1, 2, 3, and then 4, 5, 6, which is going to be longer than what I've got in here. So if this is greater than or equal to the length of self.images list, so basically it's, it's greater than the number of images that I've actually got there, that means that the animation is complete. So let's just restart at the beginning. So I just set self-index back to 0. So let's try that again. And there you go. I've got this little animation working for that bird. So the next thing to do is to add in some physics to the game so that the bird actually falls with gravity and then I can uh, click the button to, to make the bird jump back up. Uh, but I'm going to do that in a separate video. So for now, if you found this video useful, then please do leave a like. And uh, if you'd like to stay up to date with these tutorials, then feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching.